Hello and one and all guys and welcome back to a my latest uh, Blu-ray haul and yes guys it has been a bit of a while since I had to do college work online to do um, I have been busy and I guys hope you guys enjoyed my ranking videos on my um, my Marvel Cinematic Universe my Star Wars Skywalker saga ranking and my D See extended universe rankings. I'm probably going to do more rankings, but I don't know. And guys, I'm back to do some Blu-ray shopping. Hell yes. And yes, the coronavirus is starting to go away ever so slowly. You know, uh, things are starting to get back to normal a little bit. Uh, some local places that are opening. Uh, not everywhere, obviously. But everyone still has to stay a social distance, so... Guys, hope everyone is still staying safe, washing your hands, staying a safe social distance, uh, not panicking, and um, and yes, let's get through this. We can do this. And yes, guys, it has been since February I've done my last Blu-ray haul. Um, because of the um, what has been going on with the pandemic, I haven't uh, done one of these in a while. <clears throat> Now, guys, I have uh, six Blu-rays right now, um, so I have uh, four older releases and I have two new releases. And yes, guys, before we get into the Blu-rays, I just want to say, um, if you're new to my Blu-ray holes, I want to um, go over this very quick. Even though it, I know it gets boring, but I have to anyway um, to my new subscribers, or if you're the first time watching these Blu-rays holes, um, so yeah guys, I've decided to do Blu-ray hauls because I want to um, uh, put out more content, uh, keep do Blu-ray hauls rather than having to go to um, stores uh, buying Blu-rays. But um, my limit for every um, month is uh, five Blu-rays. If it's below, I'm not going to do it in a month. I'm going to move them on to next month. And yes, but I have six Blu-rays, guys. I have um, I have three, uh, no, four Blu-rays from uh, Amazon, and I have uh, two Blu-rays that I got from Tesco. So, all right. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the Blu-ray haul. All right, first Blu-ray up. These first two Blu-rays are Martin Scorsese movies. Okay, uh, first uh, Blu-ray I have. As I said, it's a Scorsese film. Um, this came out in the 80s. Uh, this was one of the big. This is one of Robert De Niro's best performances. Uh, and that is the famous sport film Raging Bull. And yes, Raging Bull. Um, you know, you also have uh, Joe Pesci in there. Um, you know, this is also a great boxing film, not just with box but showing, um, you know, Jake M Lee Mara's life, um, if I've pronounced his name right, hopefully it did, but not just um, his boxing, but his life in general, and, I, and that's what's really good about this movie, and, and I love how it's in black and white, so this came out in 1980, it's 40th anniversary, uh, same year as uh, other great movies like The Shining and Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Um, and yes, uh, this won Best Actor and Robert De Niro well deserved. <clears throat> and yeah, if you've never seen uh, Rangeable, you really should watch this. This is a great boxing film. And I have some other boxing films as well, some other Oscar worthy boxing movies that I do want to watch sometime. And yeah, Raging Bull. Alright, next up is a, another Martin Scorsese movie. Um, this one is considered to be his best by many people. And that is Goodfellas. Uh, it comes in this very nice slipcover, actually. I am actually going to keep the slipcover, it's very nice. Um, it says, remaster from a 4K scan. Don't know if you can see that, but it says it right there. Um, you come with this um, really nice uh, digi book. 
so that's why I'm going to keep it. And you also get this very nice uh, letter uh, from Martin Scorsese. I mean, uh, Goodfellas is a good example for what gangster movies should be. I mean, I haven't watched many gangster movies and I do want to watch more. But this was a great start to watch them. I have not seen the Godfather movies directed by Francis Ford Coppola, um, but I have not also watched. Um, there's there's a bunch of gangster movies that I've not watched, but this one here I've is the first one I've watched, and this is probably the best one I've watched so far. And yeah, Goodfellas is it is a great uh, movie. What else can I say? I, I especially love all the quilts in the movie. Uh, especially with Joe Pe she and everything, you know, and I do want to w watch, uh, get some more Scorsese movies like um, Casino, The Departed, uh, Shutter Island, and The Wolf of Wall Street. And yeah, those are my two uh, Scorsese movies in my uh, Blu-ray haul for this month, Raging Bull and Goodfellas. Oh, this is also its 30th anniversary. So yes, oh yeah, here's a fun story, guys. Um... For its um, 30th anniversary, Goodfellas, um, a local cinema was actually going to originally show this movie for its 30th anniversary. It was originally going to show for its 30th anniversary, but because of the coronavirus, it's not. it did not happen, unfortunately. So that would have been a great experience seeing this movie in the cinema for its 30th anniversary, but unfortunately that did not happen. So yeah, it was a bit of a crazy story, but hey... Good films. If you've never seen this, you really should. It's a great film. All right. Next uh, title is a movie from uh, 1999. And yes, this is a classic by um, David Fincher. You broke the first rule of Fight Club. I spoiled it. I'm sorry. Yes, Fight Club. Um, this. What else needs to be said about Fight Club? Fight Club is a great movie. Um, last year it was its uh, 20th anniversary. And yeah. You have great actors in, in here like um, like Brad Pitt uh, and Edward Norton. And Jared Leto's in here as well. You know, this is a great movie not, about, not just about fighting. But someone who... who but about someone who just basically quits his job and has no idea what to do, and yeah. Fight Club's a great film, guys. If you've never seen Fight Club, you definitely should. It is definitely one of the best movies from the 90s, for sure. Alright, next pickup is actually a double pack. Yes, this is the only double pack in this um, update. Uh, these are two uh, violent action movies uh, that came out in 2011 and 2014. Uh, they're probably considered to be the most violent action movies as far as I'm concerned, along with uh, Kill Bill and uh, Rambo. And these are great kung fu movies, and if you know what I'm talking about, guys, The Raid 1 and 2. Guys, I... I uh, watched these uh, movies on Netflix. They were on Netflix in the UK. Oh yeah, and so was um, Goodfellas. Goodfellas was also on Netflix, and it still is now. And so are uh, these movies, I think. Um, but yeah, these are fun action movies. I mean, the first one um, is under two hours, and the second one is over two hours. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm very interested if there's going to be a third raid film. And yeah, this is these movies are directed by uh, Gareth Evans. Uh, shot the action scenes so well. These are some of the best action movies um, of the 2010s. And uh, yeah, if you've never seen the raid movies, and if you love action movies, check these movies out. They are so much fun. Very violent as well, but they're so fun and choreographed. Alright, uh, next up uh, is my first new release, uh, two new releases and two more Blu-rays and that's it. Alright, one of these is a um, new release movie. Um, not all the new releases I've got yet, unfortunately. There's more new releases I do want to get. Um, 
there's new releases like, um, you know, 1917, I still need to get it. Once I get it, I will hopefully do an update of it in uh, June on my Blu-ray haul if I do, but we'll see what happens. Um, uh, there's other movies that I also want to get, like, you know, uh, Jungle, the ne uh, Jumanji, the next level. Um, there's also Jojo Rabbit, which I want to get. Uh, this and the next one I got. The next one I got for a reason, but yes. Uh, this film was a great mystery film. And you have a great lines in here, some great performances. It's probably one of the biggest casts from last year. And that is Knives Out, Ryan, John Ryan Johnson's Knives Out. Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit, definitely eat shit. <laughs> But yeah, Chris Evans easily was the best part about the movie, in my opinion. And I also really love Daniel Craig in here as well. You know, and the cast in here is brilliant as well. You know, you've got other people like uh, Michael Shannon, uh, Don Johnson, Tony Collette. And yeah, you've got other great actors and so many great actors in here as well. And... Um, yeah. So yeah, this is a great mystery, guys, and I and I think Ryan Johnson should stick to um, uh, original films. He gave us The Last Jedi, which, guys, I will still defend that movie until my whatever death. Um, I will still defend The Last Jedi. I still will. Uh, Looper I've yet to see, and I've heard great things about Looper. So when Ryan Johnson uh, makes his new film, I definitely do want to review Looper and this sometime. I reviewed this in my quick movie reviews of 2019, if you want to check that video out on my channel. But hey, Knives Out, if you want to, it was also my best of the 2019 movies year list. If you want to check, hear more thoughts, check out my review. This is a great uh, mystery film. Check this out. All right. And my final Blu-ray of this month that I picked up. Um, uh, this I did pick up before Knives Out. Uh, this here I got for a reason, because I'm a fan of the series. Um, and yeah, yeah, I know I'm kind of spoiling it. This is, and that's uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Yes, guys, uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. I know this movie has its fans, and guys, if you like this movie, that is great. More power to you. But I think this movie's just pretty bad as a Star Wars movie, if you think about the story and everything. But I had to get this to complete my collection, and Star Wars is one of my favourite... It's probably is my favourite Sith film series along with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but... I mean, this movie still has its moments, I mean, you know... It's not completely horrible, I mean, but this is still pretty bad as a Star Wars movie. So yeah, this is sort of like a C grade, like a, a 4 or a 5 out of 10 movie. That's what I would give Rise of Skywalker, but the only reason I got it, guys, is because I'm a Star Wars fan. But yeah, if you want to hear more thoughts, check out my review on Rise of Skywalker. It's on my channel. And yes, guys, alrighty, that was my Blu-ray haul for um, uh, May 2020. So yes, unfortunately, I did not do a Blu-ray haul for March or April. Uh, Alright, guys, so comment down below, let me know below what movies have you picked up over this uh, pandemic quarantine time. Uh... If you haven't, that's completely understandable, but if you have, let me know below, and let's have a great discussion in the comments below. And guys, I'm hopefully going to continue doing this, because my local HMV is going to open soon, so let's hope I can get back there. Also, places like CX and Poundlands, the UK stores. And yes, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. All of my social media links will be in the description below. Share this video. Don't forget to notify the bell before you leave. And as always, guys, until my next video, 
I shall see you guys then, and peace.